What's up guys, a uh, Heat King here, bringing you some new Resident Evil news. So, uh, I'm recording this at 11.44am in the morning right now. I just woke up a few minutes ago, let's say about an hour ago really, and I'm just going through some news here that I just learned. Uh, in a few hours, we're going to have Stay of Play, which is going to be at 11pm here in the UK. Um, hopefully I can get this video edited and uploaded before that event, uh, and hopefully I'll be doing a reaction to that. Uh, and hopefully we're going to get some announcements regarding Resident Evil 9. Now, Dos Gollum has pretty much come out and said that Resident Evil 9 is not getting revealed uh, this year, or at least not early this year, maybe. Here's the fun fact, though. Right now, if you go on Twitter, it's a bit crazy because there's a lot of people posting certain images uh, from PlayAsia.com, which is a legit site where you can buy, basically, games from Japan and get them ported here. And one of the new listings, apparently today, is Resident Evil 9. I'm looking at it right now. There's an image of the supposed box art. Of course, this could be fan-made until it's... Because they do say it's a preliminary picture, so this could change. Uh, they also have pre-orders up for Resident Evil 0 and Cold Veronica X PS5 ports. So, it seems those remakes could, in fact, be happening. And Capcom is porting those to the PS5, the original versions, for, for a start. But there's Resident Evil 9, clear as day, um, up for pre-order for to the US and to Europe from the PlayAsia site. So what the hell's going on? If this game is delayed, why is there a pre-order going up for it, you know? So something's happening, and I'm starting to think that we're going to be getting that reveal tonight. Or at best next week during Game Fest, because that's in June, early June. That's starting from the 7th, I believe. The, the opening game show is on the 7th, so... Maybe if we're not gonna get anything tonight, then probably probably next week. Uh, uh, but either way I'm looking at Resident Evil 9 here, and uh, It looks like it's a go. Uh, like I said, this is a legit site. I don't think I've ever seen them post <laughs> fake stuff here before um, And the image consists of Leon obviously so this is adding up with the rumors of course again Maybe it's fake, but uh, uh, I don't think the actual listing itself is it. I think the image could be just, like I said, a concept art. But uh, we see Leon, and in the back we see another female character. I don't know who that is. It does look like they might be holding a mini crossbow or something, so it could be Ada. But uh, upon closer inspection, I don't know. The lighting is a bit off. They could be wearing a bit of loose. It could be Jill. A lot of people are saying it's Ashley. Like, uh, so that would be interesting. A Resident Evil game that's literally a sequel to RE4 and brings... Leon and Ashley back together again like having Ashley as an agent that would be actually pretty cool because they did set it up in Resident Evil 4 remake so that would make that game's story even more worth it by bringing her back and giving us this sort of like full circle feel to it but uh, uh, if Leon is indeed the main character of Resident Evil 9 I'm hoping to god that it continues the BSA storyline from uh, 8 and the connection storyline from 7 and 8 and we get some sort of conclusion to that so I'm kind of hoping that Chris does show up in this and is sort of like a supporting role I hope they don't just drop that plot line and give us some new stuff but uh we'll see I guess we'll see but uh yeah guys um if this is legit uh and we do get an announcement, it means Dusk Golem was wrong about there being no RE9 reveal this year. Um, technically, he said he said we, 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 we would probably, the game would not release next year, or it would release late next year, and early 20, or to early 2026 or something. But, uh, like I said, that doesn't make any sense with GTA 6 coming out, so Capcom can't be that stupid to release their game near the release date of, of a game that's pretty much going to dominate the uh, gaming industry market for weeks and months to come. But either way, this is exciting, guys. I, I hope this is legit, and I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. And we're going to see if this is true in the next few hours. Uh, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. I can't wait for that reveal. Take care and bye, guys. Take care and bye.